No organization is responsible for the content of this video. All errors and omissions are the sole responsibility of myself, David Iverson. This video must not be your only source of information. Please attend official USSA educational opportunities. Please download official USSA educational materials. Okay, so we're going to start off by building a new race. And so assuming you've got split second up and running, and you know you've got it installed and you know what's going on we're gonna start with a brand new race and we're gonna start making it happen so the place that I always start is I start under the header and so under the header I'm gonna give it a name and so the name of my race is test race for YouTube videos and uh, so you know what the name of your race is. You can figure that out. And then all of my videos are going to be all about Alpine. Uh, I'll leave it up to somebody else to do snowboard, cross country, or master's Alpine. And what are we going to be running? Let's run a good old generic giant slalom. So our race is a giant slalom. We're going to do a scored race. So it is going to be a USSA race and it is going to be scored and the race date is going to be 7-14-2011 uh, and number in the top seat. Now this is where things get a little bit tricky. Well, I'm going to scramble at the beginning. I'm going to scramble 15. So to start off with, there's going to be 15, the top 15 kids are going to be scrambled in the race. But then for the second run, we're going to flip 30. Now, um, it doesn't really matter what you put in for race fee because that information doesn't go to anybody. So you can, so that's, there's an accounting feature in the software, but I don't think people really generally use it. I don't. So I'm not going to, so you can put race fee in or not. It doesn't show up anywhere on the official paperwork. USSA code, well, we're doing a USSA race. So it's going to be U9123 is going to be our race code for the men. Um, and then US, USSA penalty to apply. Well, we're going to have to come back to that in another video. Okay. Now, my course name, we're going to be running on Warren's Way. And now I'm going to just pause and we're going to go and we're going to find the start elevation, the finish elevation, and the homologation number from other information that I've got. Okay, so right now we're looking at a file that I made up when I went out and I walked the hill with my GPS and I took some data on various points on my hill and then also here is the official certificate of homologation for the hill and so uh, they say that the start is is 869 meters and when I measured it with my GPS I got 870 meters and that seems completely reasonable. So we're going to say that the start was 870 meters and then I've got the finish as 522 and they have the finish as 515 and again that's very reasonable because that finish is kind of the lowest possible safe finish and so um, we generally don't finish all the way down as far as we possibly could so we so I have a start that's one meter above this and I've got a finish that's seven meters above this and so for the entire hill I'm plus or minus six meters which is well within the accuracy of what we're looking for and then down here this is my homologation number 7255-10-03. This is a FIS homologation number. I really don't have any examples of USSA homologation numbers. I'll have to track that down for a later video. And then this expires in uh, October 22nd of 2013. So it's going to be valid for this coming season. 
So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to enter this into my header information. So I go right here and my start elevation that I found from my GPS was 870 meters. My finish elevation that I also found from my GPS is 522 meters for a vertical drop of 348 meters. And then my homologation number is 7255-10-03. It is not a USCSA event. Um, I'm not going to get into this. It is U.S. Ski and Snowboard Association, USSA, USA, Vermont, Eastern, Burke Mountain Academy, Burke Mountain, LG Timey. And so I have got my header information all set. And so I'm done with this tab. So I just remembered uh, as I went to do the factors and list things that we're going to be running a men's race and a women's race today. And so we're going to be running two separate races. So if we're going to be running two separate races, we've got to have a men's race and we have to have a women's race. Now, there is this activities. You can go up to the activities uh, or I never use it up here. Uh, file, change sex. But there's an easier way to do it. The way that I always do it is right down here where it says ladies. You click on ladies and it brings you over to the men. You click on the men and it bring you, brings you over to the ladies. So now we're on the ladies side of things. And so we have to add in this whole same thing. So we have um, test race for YouTube videos women and again it's going to be alpine and we're going to do a giant slalom uh ussa scored yes it's going to be 7 14 2011 number in the top seed is going to be 15 we're going to reverse 30 race fee i don't care about my race code for the my race code for the um, men was zero nine zero nine one two three. I always kind of try to get my race code sequential if I can. Uh, so I'm going to hopefully have a race code of U nine one two two for the ladies, but that might not happen. And I'm going to have to do another video on setting up, um, on getting your race codes, finding your race codes, and all that stuff. And once again, my course is Warren's Way. My uh, start was 870 meters. My finish was 522 meters. And I can never, ever remember those homologation numbers, so I always have to look them up. 725510. Zero 03. The only thing that I remember about the homologation number is the zero 03 because that tells me that it expires in 1 3, which means that in a couple of years I need to re homologate. And I've got this all set up, and so now we have the men's race set up and the women's race set up, except for to avoid confusion, I'm going to want to type men's on this side so that we can sort of tell them apart more clearly.